What's going on guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. In this video, we're going over to Italy where probably one of the best photos ever taken of what they call an elb. This is an EMP that occurred back on March 27th of 2023 above Italy. We're going to come back and take a look at this rare event here in just a moment. But first over here at the homepage of the website, today's feature photo was sent in by Cynthia H. out of Grand Rapids, Michigan. This is how I received the photo of a bright pink sky. This is a sunset from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Checking in on the power outage situation. As you can see right now, there's 11 states dealing with widespread power outages. Those are a direct result of this storm system right here. It looks like a big scorpion in the sky. That's the system as it's moving out today going through the, the eastern United States and the northeastern United States. This is where it was yesterday for a while when there was a major tornado outbreak in the central plains. These are the reports over here at hellreports.com of tornadoes that were reported. There very well could have been more because when you factor in all of the wind reports that were reported over here. You can see the map becomes very quickly overwhelmed and trust me there's way more than this. There could have been more tornadoes too in rural areas um, that just weren't simply reported. I counted on this map alone 51 reports of tornadoes anywhere from northern Mississippi, Tennessee, northern Alabama, over north of Atlanta, Georgia, near Little Rock, Arkansas. I saw a video of an EF4 tornado as it went through a neighborhood I don't have the video in my video because I don't have permission to use it. Then all kinds of tornadoes up in Iowa, Illinois, over into parts of the Illinois-Indiana border, and up into southern Wisconsin. I don't think I've ever seen an outbreak quite that big in quite a long time. And here's the thing it could do it again later on next week. We've been talking about that. I mentioned it in yesterday's video, and I'm going to mention it again because it's kind of a big deal. If this does verify, we're looking at the potential energy that could be over the, the Central Plains once again on April 4th and April 5th. And the stage is being set once again for the possibility of yet another large tornado event throughout the Central Plains. I'm over here at ventasky.com and I'm looking at the lifted index. And when you combine the, the lifted index along with the CAPE, and that's the available energy in the area that could produce updrafts and convection and could produce tornadoes and obviously large hail, conditions on the 4th and 5th, if the model verifies once again, are going to be primed for tornadoes and large hail, high winds, much like we saw yesterday throughout the Central Plains. However, this could go on for a couple of days. So if you're in Missouri, Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, Arkansas, Louisiana, Illinois once again, Iowa, even up into southern Michigan, Indiana. This is going to reach clear over into Ohio by the time it's all said and done on the 5th. You can see the dark burgundy on this map. This means the energy is going to be available for the formation of tornadoes and very large hail at 11 a.m., on April the 5th. This is going to be a two-day event, April 4th and April 5th, coming up next week. So again, I can't emphasize enough, if you're in those areas, be on the lookout and be prepared for yet another tornado outbreak like we saw yesterday. There was a, a widespread area of damage to trees, homes, outbuildings, barns that extended from Texas all the way north into northern Pennsylvania, spanning over a thousand miles. Look at these wind reports. Again, the map is just completely overwhelmed, and these are just the ones that were reported. There were probably ten times as many that did not go reported, and that's not even including the hail. Look at all the hail on this map here, ranging anywhere from an inch all the way up to three inches and quite possibly larger. Again, rural areas are not reporting on this map. If they do, they're few and far between. So once again, big heads up if you're in the Central Plains coming up on April 4th and April 5th, there could be yet another tornadic outbreak and this event could last for two days. The energy is definitely going to be there if these computer models verify and these computer models are very good within three days. So more than likely that will indeed occur somewhere in the Central Central Plains. So just be ready, guys. That's all. Coming over here to spaceweather.com, a very unique story coming out of Italy, right here in this part of the world. 
There was an EMP about four days ago, back on the 27th. And let me read the article to you over here, once again, at spaceweather.com. For a few milliseconds on Monday night, that would be the 27th of March, an enormous red ring of light appeared in the sky over central Italy. That would be right here in this area. Story goes on to say, Walter Binato photographed it from a small town of Passaggio in the foothills of the Italian Alps. This is an ELB, an E-L-V-E, short for emissions of light and very low frequency perturbations due to electromagnetic pulse sources. It's a rare species of a sprite discovered back in 1990 by cameras on board the space shuttle. Binato may have just taken the best picture ever of one from the ground. The ELB was generated by intense lightning in a storm near Ancona, about 285 kilometers south of his location says Benato. And he goes on to say one bolt was so strong it generated intense electromagnetic pulse, an EMP. The red ring marks the spot where the EMP hit the Earth's ionosphere. Normal lightning bolts carry 10 to 20 kiloamperes of current. This bolt was about 10 times stronger than usual. 10 times stronger than usual. Unbelievable. And you can see here on the map, this is where the red ring appeared in the sky that he captured right here in this photograph. That is a photo by Valto Benato. He goes on to say it was about 100 kilometers high and nearly 360 kilometers wide. I have been photographing under atmospheric lightning and transient luminous events since 2019. Hundreds of them. And this is one of the biggest structures I have ever seen. Elb season is just getting started in Europe and North America where spring and summer thunderstorms will multiply in the months ahead. Photographers should be on alert for possible red rings and many other things above the cloud tops. This was an extraordinary event, quite possibly one of a kind, quite possibly the largest ever photographed in the world. Just occurred on March 27th of 2023. Coming up in my next video, I'm going to take you guys to the International Space Station. I've got some incredible video footage, once again, by Mary Hall from the ISS, and I've also got some amazing footage by Brad, also from the International Space Station, as it's near New Zealand. You guys are going to see something very rare, unlike anything we've ever seen from the International Space Station, and it occurred in broad daylight. If you guys have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. If you guys have any videos you'd like to share that won't attach to the email for whatever reason, come over here to the homepage of the website, look for this red tab that says, have a large video. Simply click on that red Red tab, drag and drop your video into the red banner. Please include your first name, date, and location, and I'll take it from there. Thanks for watching. Have a super day, and be safe out there.